Bill romances Poppy at the beach house as Wyatt hands the keys over to RJ. At the Forrester mansion, Eric tells Ridge he was at peace when he saw the light and his mom. Ridge asks, did I let you down? Did you want to stay? Ridge explains he was torn. He knew what Thorn and the others wanted, he knew what Eric wanted, and he didn't want to say goodbye to him. Eric replies, it's okay, son. I understand. At I.L. Giardino, Bill admits he was surprised that Poppy took him up on his challenge to dance in the restaurant. She thinks he should try being more impetuous and he teases that if he danced they'd have to clear the place out. That might not be a bad thing, since they'd then have the place to themselves. I wouldn't have to share you with anyone. They go over the magical night they shared, and Bill says he wants to be alone with her. They can dance, or whatever, all night long. Luna walks into the design office as RJ's changing. She admires his physique, smiles, pops a mint, and then joins him. She tells him he really needs to get a place of his own. RJ says his grandfather is coming home today. His dad is helping him settle in, which is what he'll be doing soon. He found a beach house near Steffi's place and moves in today. Luna asks how it happened so quickly. RJ teases, let's just say I was motivated. Every time he sees her and kisses her, he just gets more determined. Suddenly, Wyatt walks in. He guesses, this must be the girlfriend. RJ introduces Luna to Wyatt and explains he owns the beach house. Wyatt hands over the key and suggests he make another one if he plans on having guests. Wyatt tells RJ that it won't be easy for him to say goodbye to the beach house, he has a lot of good memories there. RJ assures him he can stop by any time. Luna asks if Wyatt knows where he's going. Wyatt may hang around LA or spread his wings. He'll see what's out there in this wide world for yours truly. He encourages RJ and Luna to make some amazing memories at the beach house.